Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a chicken and dumplings recipe given to me by Virginia Alexander. And y'all know who she is, and this is all from scratch. And here we have some potato, celery, and carrots, three quarts of water. Thank you, Virginia. This recipe is awesome. Putting everything into the pot of three quarts of water, including the chicken. We're going to let all that simmer, and now I'm going to add an eighth of a teaspoon of thyme, eighth of a teaspoon of parsley, two tablespoons of salt, and now we're just going to let that simmer, and while that is simmering, we're going to go over to the table, and we are going to make the dumplings. I like the rolled flat dumplings. That's what I grew up on, and I so, so dearly love them. I don't like the ones you use the biscuits and cut them up or roll them out and just plop them in there. You, I can't, you To me, you can't beat the, <clears throat> beat this recipe. And again, I want to thank Virginia Alexander for sending me this delicious, delicious recipe. So what I usually do is I let the chicken fall off of the bones in the broth, but this time I let it get really cooked and then I just pulled them out because I didn't want to have to fish through and make sure I didn't miss any bones or pieces. Now we're going to make up the dumplings, flat roll dumplings. Add your dry ingredients first. Which is the flour, two tablespoons of butter. And then you're going to mix this all together. Don't use a whisk, it doesn't work. <laughs> or a fork. Uh, the recipe said down in a side note it says you're better off to use your hands which I ended up doing and then I added the egg and three to four tablespoons of water this lady can cook she can knit I mean this is one talented lady see why I say don't use the whisk <laughs> After I got the whisk out, I'm like, oh, yeah, that she said your hands work better. <clears throat> yeah, so true. Now she's ready. I'm going to roll it out on a lightly floured mat. And then I'm going to use my pizza cutter to cut them in strips. And I don't cut straight. I'm eating this. So this these are not perfect strips or squares. But I wanted to give her a true shout out and let everyone see this woman knows what she's doing this food is delicious she also sent me a recipe for the humming uh, hummingbird cake and I haven't made that yet but if you all would like to see that recipe and if I have her permission I would love to film that as well so Virginia if you don't mind leave in the comments if you want me to do a video on that for you as well I love to bake and she knows I love my hummingbirds and they are on their way for all you hummingbird people out there, start getting ready. This was so easy. My husband kept telling me, no, not chicken and dumplings are not good for you. But once he tasted this, he was like, oh, wow. Yeah, it was good. Here, I'm going to add two cans of cream of chicken. You can also thicken it up with, I think she said three tablespoons of cornstarch and a quarter cup of water or a half a cup of water. Mmm, isn't that looking delicious, y'all? I want to thank you again, Virginia, and for anybody that continues to watch and comment. And if you don't comment, I appreciate the views. Smells so good. Here we go. First one. That looked like a triangle, huh? You cannot beat... Oh my gosh, it was perfect. So if she leaves a comment, I'm going to pin, pin the comment. No, she doesn't have any content at the moment. But please say hello to her and thank her very, thank her for this recipe. Still, I'd go over and support her anyhow. Maybe we can talk her into doing some kind of a channel along the way. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> My mouth is watering again. Alright, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And... 
Virginia, this is to die for. Thank you so much. Y'all have a blessed, wonderful day. Thank you again. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you can. And please share it out to help my channel. And until next time, y'all, take care. Bye. I love you.